That's a big cat. Yes, it's not going to get this. So my name is Tyler Asnikar. I'm a district wildlife manager for the Boulder North District. Um, today we had a mountain lion that was found underneath the porch at a home in Boulder. Um, and so between myself and some of our other agencies, our Boulder Animal Control and uh, Open Space and Mountain Parks, got a couple of rangers from both of them, we were able to use a jab pole to tranquilize the cat and then mull it out from underneath the porch. And then we brought it up here. We're in Lamar County now um, and just released the cat. Um, and what circumstances lead to you guys uh, moving a mountain lion like this? So there's a lot of different things. Um, the biggest one is location when we get cats that come into town. Um, this one was pretty far east in Boulder uh, in a populated area. Not a good situation to have a big predator animal like that so close to so many people. And so it's better for the people and for the cat to, to try to move it. Um, and relocation is our, our method of our best approach in this case. Um, not Nothing warranting, you know, being euthanized, but uh, can't leave it there. Um, maybe just talk about mountain lion activity in Boulder mm -hmm. uh, recently and, and maybe in general too. Yeah, so, you know, more historically speaking, you know, we've always had mountain lions coming in and out of Boulder. Um, I'll reference Matt Aldridge's study, he had collared cats, especially adult females taking young ones in, teaching them how to hunt. There's a higher prey availability in Boulder, raccoons, pets, etc. So it's not a new thing, it's not going to go away. Uh, they come in at night, they hunt, they leave in the morning. Uh, leading up to this, in recent weeks we've had several pets taken. Um, it seems that there's a sub-adult, probably siblings. They've been spotted a lot, it's on ring cams, seen by folks out and about in backyards. We've had several pets attacked, uh, several taken, presumably killed and eaten. Um, this may or may not have been one of those cats, but uh, increased winter activity, and that's fairly typical um, as they follow their, their prey base down, particularly mule deer that move into the lower elevations this time of year when it's cold. They're looking for better food sources. The cats kind of concentrate around the western edge of town, and that leads to an increase in sightings in town as well. Um, and probably led to this, this particular cat being in, in and around town looking for something to eat. So adult male mountain lion, um, maybe not quite fully grown, kind of that older juvenile age class, um, approximately 115 pounds, give or take. Um, healthy looking cat, um, seems to recover from the, the tranquilizing and the anesthesia pretty well. So yeah, he let out of the trap pretty quickly and uh, hopefully he'll be find a new place where it's a little farther from people and he can continue living his life without any risk of danger to, to humans. Go, 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 go